My orange and coffee poke cake is not only delicious to eat, it's so much fun to make. The cake batter starts with oil, dark brown sugar, and four eggs. And now for the coffee fix. Five teaspoons of instant coffee powder mixed with a splash of boiling water. That is nuclear. That'll do, that's mixed in. That's it, let's take that over there. So I'm gonna add some self-raising flour straight in here. And then a teaspoon of baking powder. Just give it a mix. Once you've got a smooth batter, pour into a lined baking tin and bake at 180 for 50 minutes. Then leave to cool completely. Now, lots of cakes have, like, ganache or buttercream, and I figured, you know what, why not do a really zesty orange curd? All good curds start with egg yolks, and this is no different. Six of them. To those, I'm adding 100 grams of caster sugar and 20 grams of butter, and the zest of two large oranges. Then squeeze out the juice of the oranges and add those to the mix. Finally, three tablespoons of corn flour to thicken the whole mixture up. Then give it a mix over a low heat. And that is thickened quite a lot now. And the cooler this gets, the thicker it becomes, which is exactly what I want. Pour the curd into a bowl and put into the fridge to cool and thicken. So that's my coffee cake and my orange curd. Now it's time for the poke. And I'm literally going to poke the cake using the back of a wooden spoon. I told you this cake was fun. Oh, it's a little bit wonky down that end. It's all right. My family love this cake and it's great to make with the kids. Don't hold back on the curd. What's not to like? This is going to please the icing lovers and the cake lovers in my family. But you know what? I'll be surprised if this makes it through the weekend. If you can't bake at the weekend, when can you? And this one's a piece of cake. <laughs>